good morning dear students now today i am going to discuss list manipulation list list manipulation in this we have to discuss one question that uh, write a program that displays option for inserting and deleting elements in a list if the user chooses a deletion option displays the sub menu and the task if element is to be deleted with value or by using its position or a list slice is to be deleted means this we have to ask from the user that if you want to delete uh, how you want to delete the number by value or by position now let's an example well well is equal to 17 comma 23 comma 18 comma 19 now this is the list in uh, this we have stored few values print this list is this list is now this is only for printing purpose while true is the type of loop which will not stop unless you are not stopping it for every condition it will work so we have to display the menu again and again print main menu then print first insert second delete print 1 insert print to delete and print 3 exit 3 exit now one value you have to accept int input enter your choice 1 2 or 3 enter your choice 1 2 or 3 after this you have to compare if ch is equal equal 1 item is equal to int input enter enter item 1 position value which will be updated if it is uh, if in the a list if, it is, if anything is deleted then you have to uh, reduce the index value also so for this purpose we will use pos position that will hold the value int input insert at which position insert at which position now this will accept the position index is equal to minus 1 you know list is starting from 0 so we have to reduce one value well dot insert now index comma item and then after we will print the value success list now is
एल इफ सी एच इज इक्वल इक्वल टू now if the second choice is there to delete a value so how it will react ch is equal equal to print you have to display few messages in this deletion menu deletion menu print वन डिलीट डिलीट यूजिंग वैल्यू डिलीट यूजिंग वैल्यू प्रिंट डिलीट यूजिंग इंडेक्स delete using index print 3 delete a sub list now when we are writing this it will display a sub menu after displaying this sub menu we have to again accept the value int input enter choice 1 or 2 or 3 or 3 now if dch is equal equal 1 now dch is equal equal 1 then item is equal to int input enter item to be deleted the item to be deleted val dot dot remove item val dot remove item print list now is list now is well l if dch is equal equal to if it is to user choice index is equal to int enter index of item to be deleted enter index to be deleted then index to be deleted well dot pop index pop index print now you can print this value print list now is list now is well l if d c h is equal equal 3 l is equal to int input enter lower limit of list slice
leave lower limit of list slide to be deleted and h is equal to int input enter upper limit of list slice to be deleted now this is the choice user will input del well well l h print list now is list now is well else print valid choices are only are only 1 2 3 l if ch is equal equal 3 break else print L if this will go slight this side now you can see the valid list is this if in the first menu enter the item uh 12 enter the position 2 you can see new list is created number 2 uh, delete by value 1 now in the item to be deleted 23 now the list uh, is you can see the list 23 is now not present if we are giving 3 so it is closed next question write a program that input a list write a program that input a a list replicate it twice replicate it twice and then prints the sorted list ascending and descending order
in this program we will accept the list or we can fix the list so we can accept it well is equal to eval is the function in which directly it can be accepted in this list form as you will give the value it will accept otherwise you have to run a for loop to store the values inside the list element input enter a list enter a list now print original list original list well then after well is equal to well into two print replicated list replicated list well well dot sort sort function we are using to sort the values then print sorted in ascending order sorted in ascending order well next in reverse form well dot sort reverse is equal to true print sorted in descending order well now you can see we can give the list directly in this form and uh, you can see this list is sorted in ascending or descending order this way we can see this is the replicated list this is list in ascending order and this is the list in descending order if in a small list we can see it clearly 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 3 comma like this it is you can see this is the original list this is replicated list this is ascending order and this is descending order so with the help of reverse is equal to true we can apply the concept now students next program program to find the minimum element program to find the minimum minimum element from a list of elements along with its index in the list so in this program we have to consider one list lst is equal to eval input enter list length is equal to length lst min e l e element is equal to lst 
जीरो मिन इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर आई इन रेंज वन कॉमा लेंथ दिस इज द लूप विच विल रन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एलिमेंट to the length let will leave the length and it will run before the length one less than length if lst i if lst i is less than min ele if lst i is less than min l e l e then min E L E is equal to L S T I <coughs> min underscore index is equal to I now print given list is lst print the minimum element of the given list is print min ele at index min index now first element is 2 it got and uh, at the index of 0 now the smallest element is at the end you can see 2 is at index 4 now students program to search program to search for an element for an element in a given list of numbers in a given list of numbers so for this one list we have to accept list eval input enter the list length is equal to length lst now element is equal to int input enter element to be searched for enter element to be searched for for i in range 0 comma 0 comma length if element
list i list i print element comma found at index found at index comma i break else else print element not not found in the in the given list to to not found in the given list so we have to slight update it here now the list is Two, two is found at index zero, and uh, if we are running this, and the number nine is not present in this, I am searching nine, so nine is not found in the given list. So like this, we can simply traverse the loop and we can compare it with all the elements whether it is present or not.